my guy Jan and I are back. Now I've got a guest. We've got a couch. We've got painted walls. We're we're an actual studio. No more excuses. Got to no. get the camera on. And we're gonna get the the content started and doing more things. So you ready to get the show started? Let's let's go. And I'm gonna walk in here, <laughs> What just happened, bro? It's a um, little unplanned off script, but uh, we roll with it. My guy, come right here with the dog. Um, so we're gonna start a whole bunch of these kind of conversational series. Some of them will be strategic. Some of them might be therapeutic and just rants. Some of them could uh, actually inspire you, uh, but that's not a promise. That's not a guarantee. This is just this is just content. Um, but today we wanted to to talk about something that we've been debating internally, because my man here is young, doing his university thing again. Like what are you doing another MBA? What are you, what are you doing now? Oh, God. Um, even though I'm like the last person you would ever expect to do school again, I, I hated school. I failed so many courses in university. I'm back doing a master's of engineering. The pain continues. The pain continues. You know, I, I went to school way back in 19 something, something, something. <laughs> right? Uh, and back then it was like, yo, if you don't go to university, if you don't go to college, your life is messed. Yeah. Like, Nobody will hire you. There's no opportunities. Entrepreneurship wasn't even a thing. So a lot of the decision to continue educating yourself, even though it's expensive, like it was like eight to ten k a year, you know that's that's big money back then, right? Yeah. Uh, we still did it. And then now today's generation, you're doing another one. I guess the question I've been thinking about because I've got a couple of kids and my daughter will think about post secondary in the next few years. Does university or post-secondary now applies for everything? Mm -hmm. Is it only for the more highbrow, like the engineering, the, the, the architecture, the medical, if you're in life, you know, if you're in, in like business and entrepreneurship and art, is that now no longer important to go to university for? I don't know. What's your thoughts? Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's a great question. I think it's, 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 it's obviously an evolution from, uh, from 50, 100 years ago, of, you know, the the industrial revolution where going to higher education or even education to begin with was was mandatory yeah. otherwise you're an uneducated farm boy or girl yeah. right and that's how we separated the people yeah. that are farmers and the people that are physically you know doing the work every day to yeah. the to the IQ folks the, exactly. the smart people in the in the in the in the world absolutely yeah but the thing i think that still remains the same is especially if if you're planning to you know to do work in in a structured environment yeah. in in this world whether you're a psychologist trying to teach certain um or or, or trying to rather conduct certain psychological uh, um, styles or systems or you're an engineer or a doctor or a business person accountant yeah. um, there are some things that you just can't you can teach yourself but there is we need as a society to make sure there's a certain standard right there's yeah. a certain standard is a minimum yeah. so i feel like like you need that little ring yeah. if you're going to be an engineer. Like it just yeah. shows maybe not your level of competence, but the fact that you're you you went through some training and and somebody's vetted you to be able to like you know build stuff for the world. I guess right, one hundred percent. And also we can't. We also I feel like as a society can't have a a world full of self starter creative disruptive people. Yeah. And we know this from running a company too, yeah. right? <laughs> if we had 20 people in here and every single person <laughs> if every single person was a creative new idea, I want to do it my way. Yeah. yeah. It wouldn't be a company. We need a huge like a bulk amount of people to be, you know, not 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 to pragmatic. Yeah. Exactly. And not to demean them in any way, but just, you know, you got to be really good at perfecting the system and right. following the system. And um so, so yeah. you know, if my daughter is like, hey, Uncle Yan, should I go to university? I want to be an actor. I want to be, I want to be, you know, a, a performer. I want to be an educator. What, what's, what's the mindset now? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question. I mean, I think university still has, or higher education still has a, a lot of its benefits, right? right? Like the, the, the fact that it forces you into a certain network of people to be surrounded by a certain environment and energy. Again, if you, if it depends on the personality, if you're someone who, you know, you're at 17, 18, about to go to college, and you haven't really done a whole lot to yeah. this date, you probably it wouldn't hurt you. It'll yeah. push you out of your comfort zone, whatever. But if you're like a natural born entrepreneur on TikTok, making videos, you have 
hundreds of thousands of followers by the time you're 14, 15, maybe Jeez. going to college is like a little bit of a waste of time. Yeah. So, so is it is it still from an old school perspective, this comparison between, you know, uh, book smart and street smart? Yeah. And if, if street smarts today, it's social media. And now, you know, as you said, from 12 or 13, I found my voice. I'm online. I'm, I'm, I'm meeting people. I built a small brand. I'm learning a lot of the things that if you haven't done that, you need book smart to learn it. Yeah. And is it now a similar sort of mindset, except it's changed. You know, back mm -hmm. then, street smart wasn't, wasn't social media. It was just the hustler, the guy selling CDs out of the trunk, the guy's making 100 T-shirts and pimping it out. You know, I, I did clubs for years and firing people and all this kind of stuff. Is street smart now social media? Mm. And book smart now continues to be post-secondary, but we we still are following the same model. Right. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I mean, I think definitely uh what social media is is, is just is, to me at least it feels like the playground yeah it, it, it's it's a reality happening faster it's like if you go out into the world and you try to sell i don't know a, a service or, or if you're a marketer trying to sell as an agency social media just allows you to do everything faster it allow, allows you to talk to people more and faster and at scale just like if we have this conversation and you and I are up to something right. and we want to tell others, it's harder for us to invite 5, 10, 20 people into here, but social media allows us to suddenly invite right. potentially millions of people. But it also allows you to build the basics of what business is. Right? Right. At the end of the day, regardless of what your business is, you need customers. Yeah. And the social media entrepreneurs or the people that are, are building their brand, they're starting to build these tribes. You know, All the stuff we spend all this time mm -hmm. thinking about school, your product fit, market fit, the community strategy, the brand halo, yeah. all this stuff, you know, we've learned by doing the work and going to school for it. But these kids that are, you know, building these social brands that have millions of followers, they've built the same thing we're trying to build now. And in fact, I would argue they can monetize that crew much faster than you and I can. 100%. I think, like, again, going on social media is like, is the real deal. It's the game. And, you know, like, and, you know, I've had entrepreneurship courses and in and, and classes in, in, in a reputable business school here in Canada. And the, the gap, the difference between learning the basics and the fundamentals and actually going out there and trying to make your first sale is night and day. Yeah. Is a tremendously, like, it's so much more difficult. Yeah. Just like it would be, you know, you're learning in coding class how to code and then you actually have to have your first app compile, survive 100 users. 100%. And all this kind of stuff, right? So, so let's close today's debate off by leaving the audience the choice to comment below. So I'm going to vote. Yeah. Assuming you're the opposite. Maybe we're going to be aligned. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to vote that in the future, if you are not specializing in something like engineering, like medicine, like accounting, things where there's a regulatory body yeah. that's going to govern your performance, you don't need to go to university anymore. You can intern, you can entrepreneur ship the way through it you can you can learn on the job and this idea of going to school to learn this particular category of employment mm -hmm. outside of high school makes no sense to me you're going to get into debt that you have to pay off and all this other nonsense so i'm going to say if you are not in that category of a regulated business do not go to university or college save that money take that money invest in yourself and go right do i have to disagree I don't know. What do you, you, you can either agree and <laughs> yeah. people can disagree or you could disagree and they can vote. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I can uh, kind of pose the, the, the other side of the coin is that university or generally speaking, higher education or formal education provides an, an incredible base to your credibility, to your knowledge, to your network that uh, whereas the other perspective is an unstructured, oftentimes unrecognized manner. And if you have the degree or the accreditation from somewhere, you on average are going to win over someone who doesn't. So okay, that, that so now you guys have two viewpoints. Maybe you'll pick one side. Maybe you will pick both sides. Maybe you'll meet in the middle. Maybe you'll share another viewpoint that you know we haven't thought of in the comments. And for those of you that follow me and you haven't met my co-founder, this is Jan. He's our CMO. He's the one actually figuring out how to build the brand Halo and get all of our customers excited. And so you'll see him a lot more on my on my feed and if you haven't followed him go hit that button at the bottom i'll tag him and you go become friends and if you like this content you want to see more debates 
more 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 fun disagreements on on what the future looks like also comment and hit like we'll do more of this stuff and uh that's it man that's our time thank you for being part peace wicked finally film the conversation yeah bro let's see how it looks Actually, you